Hello everyone, welcome back. Here we have a simple operation rename. So rename is basically as name suggests, we give a name to a relation. Fine. If you see our previous example, we, we found out the cross product of two relations and we filtered out based upon the condition and then we projected the name only. Okay, so if we want to write this as a relation, this part, so this will not have his own name, right? So we can give him a name and we can use this rename operator. So it is represented as row, okay? And what we do is, let's say we can write, when we come up to this, exp, uh, this stage, that is we found out the cross product of student, and grade okay and then we filtered the rows based upon the condition that grade equal to a grade equal to a okay and then this re resultant relation which we have we don't have any name so what we can do is we can give him a name and we can write we will call it as student grade Okay, so using this sign row and the operator rename operator, we can give it a name. So we can formally write renaming operation as. So what do we mean by this? We mean by saying row a by b. It means that, or we say that this relationship, uh, this attribute b will be renamed as a. So it, the, this rename operation, the resultant obviously will be a tuple where this B relation or sorry attribute, this B attribute will be renamed as A okay, and the tuple belongs to R obviously. So let's say what we can do is we have one example as follows. Here for this relation employee, I want to rename this as employee table okay so what we will do we will just write row and the new name that is employee table and then employee so here the table name itself will be renamed okay now if I want to rename uh, employee ID as ID then what we will do I just want to rename is it as ID only so in that case we will use this thing so what we will do is we will write as this operator sign rename and this ID that is I want to rename ID which attribute employee ID So employee ID will be renamed as ID and which table? Employee table. Okay. So in this case what will happen? The resultant table will be something like this. Here the employee ID has been renamed as the attribute employee ID has been renamed as ID only. Okay, so that's how this rename operator works. Very simple to understand. I hope this is very clear. Thanks for watching.